Hi, it's Jason from Dennis Carpenters. Today we're going to replace the cooling system on this 518N. The same steps will apply on all N-Series models. So follow along with us and then you'll see exactly what you need to do when it's time to replace yours. First we will disconnect the fuel line. If your tank is full, now would be a good time to drain it to make removing the hood easier. Remove the radiator cap. Now remove the bolts securing the lower front of the hood to the tractor as well as the four bolts that connect to the dashboard. Unlatch the grill and swing it down. If you pull the hood apart slightly, the lower pins will disengage from the grill and it can be removed. Now with a helper, you can remove the hood from the tractor. Now you can drain the radiator. This tractor has been sitting dry for many years. After draining, you can remove the upper and lower radiator hoses. Next, remove the radiator mounting studs and remove the radiator from the tractor. Now we will remove the generator belt adjusting bolt. Then we will remove the fan assembly. Now push the generator towards the engine to loosen the belt so we can remove it. Now we will remove the water pump. Using a scraper, we will clean off the old gasket material. Install the new gasket and the new water pump. Reinstall your belt and adjust the tension. Reinstall the fan assembly. Now we will get our new radiator ready for installation. First, we'll install our fan shroud. Then we will put our radiator to frame pads on the studs. I like to use a dab of silicone to help them stay in place. Now I will set the radiator in place, checking for clearance. And then I snug up the mounting bolts. Install the lower hose and then the upper hose, making sure the pointed end of the thermostat faces the radiator. I will use the upper radiator hose as a final adjustment to make sure the radiator sits where it should. Then tighten the upper hose. Install a new radiator to hood pad and fill the cooling system. Install your hood in reverse of removal. And that completes our cooling system project. We hope this tutorial will help you when you decide to do your own. You can find all the parts that we used on this project at dennis-carpenter.com. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel and you can follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.